whenever we have we need to study it in parts in sections one was we can study our data within certain intervals so empirical rule says whenever the distribution is bell shaped or normal approximately 68% of the data values fall within one standard deviation of the mean approximately 95% of the data values fall within two standard deviation of mean and approximately 99.7% of the data values will fall within three standard deviation of the mean so what is the meaning of one standard deviation of mean two standard deviation of mean and three standard deviation of mean actually in uh, in nature all the things cluster about the mean value even we uh, in manufacturing process in construct we put certain criteria but we don't have always all the things adjust according to uh, this criteria the given uh, criteria or you can say uh, accord according to the specification they will have some a uh, difference they will fall although near uh, to that criteria but not exactly equal to the same prescribed measure so in this way all the things fall near the average when the situation uh, is extraordinary high it cools down always uh, cools down uh, just like uh, temperature weather condition if the temperature is very much low slowly it will it will rise because it there is a tendency always uh, a tendency towards the average so uh, in this uh, situation in this uh, diagram also we have the things Uh, clustering along the mean value here we have the mean value either this value, uh, mean value is of the sample data or even if it is for the population data even then all the things will fall near the mean value how much they are clustering maybe sometimes they are away from the mean value in a larger way and some uh, sometimes they are too much closer to the mean value so uh, how to observe them we will move on the left and right side and draw certain intervals and observe now how how much the data is falling within this uh, this range so this also happens in uh, generally in all the cases that if we subtract one standard deviation from mean value we are here and if we add s or sigma one standard deviation we are here 
so this is called one standard deviation interval it always contain approximately 68% of the data now if we subtract uh, 2s from mean value we are here and by adding 2s to this mean value we are here in this way we have this interval and it contains approximately 95% of the data similarly by subtracting 3s we are here and by adding uh, 3s we are here so a larger interval which we uh, call a three standard deviation interval it will contain almost all the data 99.7% of the data so it happens only in case of of a bell shaped distribution bell shaped uh, this is a bell shaped uh, distribution uh, with a single peak a statistical curve is a bell shaped curve so in this case approximately 68% of the data will be contained in one standard deviation 95% uh, in two standard deviation and approximately 99.7% in three standard deviation of the mean again here uh, we observe two things we are uh, constructing these intervals by one standard deviation two standard deviation and three standard deviation this is a little restriction moreover i remember that these intervals contain approximate data approximately 68% approximately 95% approximately 99.7% so remember uh, in case of empirical rule in case of empirical rule we have approximate percentage now again uh, uh, look at this empirical rule we are dealing with a percentage and uh, an interval so in our problem either we have uh, a percentage and need to calculate certain interval sometimes an interval is given we will calculate the corresponding percentage of the data contained in that interval for example we have a data which is bell shaped bell shaped means normal with mean 69.6 and standard deviation 1.4 about what proportion of of the data between is between 68.2 and 70 71 so a range is given remember this range is about the mean value about the mean value mean value is in the center of this range okay and we need uh, the corresponding percentage at the moment we don't know that this interval is one standard deviation two standard deviation or three standard deviation as we come to know this figure then easily we can state the percentage of the data to contain in and this given in interval okay generally now equate these limits left hand with x bar minus ks 
68.2 and right hand limit x bar plus k s equal to 71. Putting the value of x bar and s, s is standard deviation which is given in the statement. So, we have this equation. 69.6 minus k 1.4 equal to 68.2. Solving this equation, we get k is equal to 1. Similarly, solving the second equation, we again getting k is equal to 1. So this means this interval is x bar minus 1s x bar plus 1s. This is one standard deviation interval. One standard deviation interval. So by empirical rule, a one standard deviation interval contains approximately 68% of the data. In part B, In part B, as the distribution is bell shaped, so we can apply empirical rule. And a certain percentage is given, so again by empirical rule, 95%, approximately 95% of the data is contained in two standard deviation of the mean. And this interval is x bar minus 2s and right hand point is x bar plus 2s. Or uh, we can also express this interval with x bar plus minus 2s. Okay. We need to find out uh, uh, these limits. So x bar minus 2s is 72.4. x bar minus uh, 2s is 1.4. And x bar plus 2s is 72.4. So this interval so, uh, this interval from 6.8 to 72.4. It contains approximately. We use the word approximately for empirical rule. So in this way, we have answered both the parts. So we have a difficulty in these problems whenever we don't get the same value of k when we solve these equations. For example, an, in, an, an interval is given. 
so we equate the limits of the interval with x bar minus uh, ks and x bar plus ks and solving both the equations and we get different values of k for example if these limits are given 68.2 and 72.4 by solving the equations one equation we get k is equal to 1 and by solving other equation we get k is equal to 2 k is equal to 1 means uh, we have uh, one standard deviation interval and corresponding percentage is 68 percent for k is equal to 2 means we are having two standard deviation interval and it contains 95 percent of the interval so what should we do let we observe these things in an example we have this uh, situation for k is equal to 1 we have this interval from x bar minus s to x bar plus s the values of x bar minus s and x bar plus s are 68.2 and 71 okay for k is equal to 2 we have this interval from x bar minus 2s to x bar plus 2s the value of x bar minus 2s is 68. 8 66.8 and 72.4 but we are given we are given these limits in our question these limits are given so we need actually the percentage of the data falling in this in this range we need only this data this means this means this means left half of the smaller interval and right half of the larger interval is considered as we know that one standard deviation interval uh, contains one uh, 68% of the data so uh, this uh, gray shaded part is 68 by, uh, 68 by 2 and also we know that two standard deviation interval contains 95% of the data so this right half of this interval is 95 by 2% so this is our answer Sixty-eight, eight by two percent,
8 by 2 per, uh, percent. And this uh, and this uh, shaded part is 95 by 2 percent. Add both these percentages. This is our required answer. So half of uh, 68 percent and half of 95 percent is added. So finally, we have approximately, remember when you apply, when you apply empirical rule, always you have approximate data. Now, if we have, if we have, other than uh, k is equal to one, k is equal to two, we are getting here in this case, the value of k different from one, two, and three. Then how we find the corresponding percentage? We calculate uh, this percentage with this formula, with this formula. This happens in Chebyshev theorem. When the distribution is not uh, necessarily normal. So uh, this uh, this this one is a general case. It works also for normal distribution and also non-normal distribution. So what is the statement that at least one minus one over k square percent of the data will fall? within k standard deviation of the mean k standard deviation of the mean what is the meaning that is the interval the interval x bar plus minus ks x bar minus ks and right hand limit is x bar plus ks interval will contain at least One minus one over k square percent of the data. Of the data. is any positive whole number uh, greater than one remember in this case in this case the value of k is greater than one there is also a little difference between empirical rule and Chebyshev theorem one is uh, of the normality 
that empirical rule works only for bell shaped distribution or normal distribution whereas chebel shaped theorem works for all types of the distributions but there is an other important difference it contains approximate percentage of the data but in this case the interval contains at least percentage of the data we will face uh, this uh, situation for example in this problem a sample size is 50 with mean 28 and standard deviation 3 so what percentage of the data will be contained in this interval from 22 to 34 so equate both the limits with the general expression of the interval that x bar minus ks is our left hand limit and x bar plus ks is our right hand limit solving both we have k is equal to 2 so as in this case this is not mentioned that the distribution is bell shaped or normal so we deal with the chebel shaped theorem as we are getting k is equal to k is equal to 2 so 1 minus 1 over k square percent means 1 minus 1 over k k is k is equal to 2 so 1 over 4 3 by 4 and 3 by 4 means 75% of the data values data values are 50 so we calculate 75% of 50 that is 37.4 as we are counting the number of values so 37.5 means 38 values will be contained in the given interval and this one is at least at least percentage again in this case also if we uh, don't have the same values of k so use the above a technique consider half of of the percentage corresponding to each value of k so for the practice and uh, try these questions also then we have skewness and kurtosis that is again a descriptive analysis how the distribution is uh, one minute please so in this uh, descriptive analysis uh, we can describe the shape of the frequency curve without tracing it because all the time we cannot trace out a frequency curve due to lesser information so a distribution a frequency distribution a frequency curve is normal and symmetrical like this either it is with this shape or it may be like this 
or it may be of this form. In this study, we have a certain advantage to, descri uh, to describe our data. If we could find out uh, uh, this me measure, and come to know that the distribution is normal and symmetrical, so in this case, the mean, mode, and median will fall at the same point in the center against the highest peak. So this is uh, an important advantage for further analysis. Okay, uh, when the things are not symmetrical, they are skewed Skewness is an opposite word of the symmetry. When the distribution is not symmetrical, it will be skewed, may be skewed to the right. This is ca called positively skewed and maybe the data trend is towards the left side. So this is called negatively skewed. In this case, what happens? What is the conclusion? In this uh, situation, mode is here against the highest peak. Against the highest peak, the point on the x-axis is the mode. And here we have the mean value. And 